YouTube, it's Andrea. Hello, how are you? Now, I know it's been a while since I've posted, there's several reasons for that. The first one is, for some reason I've been having problems uploading videos to YouTube. I was trying to do one um, for the last week and it won't upload for some reason, so I thought I'd try a different one. Another one is, obviously, last week I was doing my show, um, so I was out every night, and then this week has been so hot and I just don't do the heat. I'm not very good when it gets too hot, I really suffer. Anyway, I'm back and today we're doing a book and a brew, June's unboxing. This arrived the other day. I had to go and pick it up from the post office, but it's here now and that's the main thing. And I have already sliced it open, but I haven't looked at it yet. So as usual, you can't see anything because it's in its wrapping. So, ooh, 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 ooh. so tea. We have got Belgian chocolate truffle flavoured black tea by Oties. So there we are, there's, there's the front. And that sounds rather tasty, doesn't it? So close your eyes and take in the delectable flavours of hazelnut and cocoa with this seductive black tea blend. Inspired by a decadent confectionery favourite, this Belgian chocolate truffle flavoured black tea has all the flavour of hot chocolate without the high calorie content. Drink a mug in the afternoon instead of your normal brew and enjoy the smooth, the nutty taste with hints of complimentary tartness. I love hot chocolate and I love Belgian truffles. Mm, it does smell nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And now onto the book, which is going to be. Oh, now this time they've actually put it in its thing. Now, last week it wasn't wrapped. Last month it wasn't wrapped. This month it is with his little book and a broom. And this is a chunky book. Let's have a look. Oh, I can't. You wouldn't think that getting this little paper would be so difficult, but you know what it is. Here we are. So, this is called Die of Shame. And it's by Mark Billingham. There's the cover. It's a very nice cover, actually. Just a black uh, normal one with red end papers. And this originally came out in 2016, so it's still fairly new, recent. And so it says, Every Monday evening, six people gather in a smart North London house to talk about addiction. There, they share their deepest secret stories of lies, regret, and above all, shame. Then one of them is killed, and it's clear one of the circle was responsible. Detective Inspector Nicola Tanner quickly finds her investigation hampered by the strict confidentiality that binds these people and their therapist together. So what could be shameful enough to cost someone their life? And how do you find the truth when denial and deception are second nature to all of your suspects? Mm, and that sounds a very, a very good. I've read Mark Billingham before, um, so yes. Um, and he's a very good writer, so I'm looking forward to this. And if you don't know, Mark Billingham has twice won the Theakston's Old Peculiar Award for Best Crime Novel and has also won a Sherlock Award for the Best Detective Created by a British Writer. Each of the novels featuring Detective Inspector John Th Tom Thorne has been a Sunday Times bestseller and Sleepy Head and Scaredy Cat were made into a hit TV series on Sky One starring David Morrissey as Thorne. Mark lives in North London with his wife and two children. Yeah. I've, I've, I've heard of him, I've read him before, he is a very good author, so yes, I am looking forward to that. And if you don't know what, um, if you're not in the UK and you don't know what Theakston's Old Peculiar is, Theakston's is a brewery and Old Peculiar is one of their real ales and it's a very tasty real ale as well because I used to work in a real ale house. Very, very nice beer. So that is June's Book and a Brew. It's a nice cover as well. So I am... It feels weird as well, because if you see those like raindrops on it, I don't know if you can see the raindrops, but the raindrops are actually raised as well. I love it when they do that with books. So you've got the writing is raised, but the raindrops are raised as well. Die of Shame. So that is Die of Shame by Mark Billingham and OT's um, Belgian chocolate truffle flavoured black tea. Yum. I think I might go and have to try some of this. And that's another book to add to my still rapidly growing to be read shelf. And that is another story because we were doing a huge book haul at the end of this month because somebody at the theatre gave me two bags full of books and they're all one series. I know, and it's historical. So I will be going through all of those in my massive, which is going to be huge, 
huge haul so it's gonna be over 30 bucks because she gave me 30 bucks and then there'll be what I've bought and received because it's my birthday at the end of the month as well so that's all for me for now I hope to be back very very soon I'm, I'm gonna be back soon with some coloring videos and some coloring flip throughs because I know that some of you like those and I like doing them um, and I'm back up to reading huge amounts as well because I'm almost on 20 books this month because I've read a lot on my Kindle so yes so we're getting back to normal now hooray and I will see you all very very soon booktube so happy reading guys bye